All right, uh, I'm going to show you what I'm working on here. So I decided I want to be able to do uh, start giving you some um, pages within the uh, we're going to call it the sample demo app uh, for K2 that you can actually get your hands on and use with K2 uh, that work. Uh, so I thought this may be a little bit better way to showcase uh, K2. And I need this anyway. So what I need is, um, I saw this page. I really liked uh, the way that uh, OpenAI is doing their website. It's very Oracle Apexy is what I want to say. So like this is stuff we can do. This isn't too hard. And so I decided to see if I could build basically uh, this section right here. Because what I want to do is I want to um, kind of have this whole workflow pretty much the same as this. Like if you uh, delete this key, you will not be able to delete your last key. There's always one key. Uh, your secret key is not displayed. It's only displayed once when you create it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this is very nice and uh, Ajaxy, as you can see. I don't think it's reloading everything. We're not gonna quite get there. Um, but we are gonna get a rough idea of this interface and so here's what I'm working on so basically just copied their uh, copy um, I've got my secret key this is looking at the tokens table in K2 so this is all gonna work out of the box when uh, I put the demo out there and maybe somebody can improve it make it Ajaxy um, for me or for us um, so uh, we got this little this is a classic report I played around with uh, interactive report and I really, uh, for various reasons, like classic report a lot better. And so this is classic report and um, we've got our create. I haven't done anything here. Here's our delete. So I just figured this out. Basically I created a button like this, looked at the classes and stuff and then uh, copied that. So let me go show you, show you what we have here. So here's our classic uh, report. Right now it's just getting all tokens. You will, this is not what we want. We want to limit the tokens that belong to the user or account. This would be something you could modify. Um, so we're, we're just using substring to uh, grab part of the token. Created, our, our token ID is there. Uh, that column, uh, that view, that field is not hidden yet. Um, and then we are creating a link here. Uh, we'll put a request uh, for this. This will be the delete link, and it will put the request will be delete, and then we'll run uh, a process when uh, that's clicked, uh, which will delete uh, the record, and then we'll do the same thing with create key. We'll uh, create secret key. Um, so if we look at link, what we're doing as far as the data comes back, we do a get URL, uh, and then we style it. So in our HTML expression, we're basically uh, creating a uh, link. The class is tbutton, tbutton, no label, tbutton, dash, dash, icon. Um, the actual button that Apex creates had some kind of JS suppress action or something class. Uh, I didn't add that to see if it would work. It seems to work. Our href is link, and then we put a span in here for our icon. Um, copying exactly what Apex would generate on its own, and that's it. Uh, and this, uh, I'll, I'll get an update when this is all working, but I wanted to get it out there and just sh uh, show you what I'm doing. I, I thought this was a little easier. I found, this is how to create a, um, this article here on Fox Infotech on how to create a uh, delete row button for interactive report. Um, I went through this. There's some similarities, but I and it is using a dynamic action, which was, was what I'd like to get to. But I think what I've done here is, um, is actually a little easier. Um, and actually, I don't even need that. I don't think I need that CSS class. Let me see. Um, run that. Yeah, that still works. So that doesn't do anything, but it is submitting the page. Same here, it is submitting the page. Well, actually, that submits the page. And that redirects the page. I don't know if it actually will. We'll see. I might have to have a um, process that runs uh, when the page loads. I'll figure that out. But anyway, that's that's what I've got. 
Um, thanks.